Pull the mask down sharply and breathe as usual. We just landed in Melbourne. So we just made it out of the airport terminal. Tip if you guys are coming to Australia, don't bring any like food because they have very strict laws here. If you have food you need to declare. If you need to declare, you need to queue even longer to get through custom. Off to pick up our car now. The weather in Melbourne is so good now, it's like 70 degrees Celsius. The car that we got is a. Uh, what he said, because I don't know anything about cars. We were like really thirsty and wanted to get drinks. We stopped by one of the shops at this DFO place. Can you guess how much this is? This is five dollars. Why is this so expensive? Just now I saw their sugar cane drinks. Ten dollars. <laughs> He bought two Ralph Lauren shirts for about 90 Singapore dollars each. It's very well priced out of like all the shops that we went to here, right? The Ralph Lauren shop was the most um worth it. Very good steals in there. We're gonna check into our hotel now. It's about a 20-30 minute drive back. We just reached our hotel. We are staying at Tolarno. Let me give you guys a room tour. It's a very basic hotel room. They have very nice paintings on the walls. This is the bed. Jerome is now in the toilet. We have a fridge, boiler, cups, tea, a wardrobe for us to place some of our clothes. And an ironing board with an iron. Oh, I really need that for my Taylor Swift outfit because it's crumpled inside my bag right now. The room is pretty small but we paid about $200 per night to stay near Melbourne CBD area. I would say it's still a little bit pricey. really wanted to stay somewhere that's convenient for us to get to MCG through public transport. We are going to Queen Victoria Market now. It is their night market which happens every Wednesday night at certain times of the year. Hey, here. Okay, after driving for one hour, we only drove for like 10 kilometers. Okay, the jam was so terrible. So, if you guys are coming here, take the tram. Okay, don't drive, don't be like us. The burger is very good. Like, it has super moist meat inside. I would say get a burger but don't get a fries. I love how it's like crispy. But the problem is that there's too much dough and too little jam. I wouldn't say like super duper nice but it's, it's different. It's a different kind of donut because it's like crispy on the outside. $4.50 egg tarts. Oh, it's nice? Oh, very really nice. Wow. If he says it's good, it means it's really good, guys. We're gonna collect our Taylor Swift VIP package now. It is day two in Melbourne and Taylor Swift is here! Anyway, yes, I was crazy enough to buy Kama is my boyfriend VIP package. I bought it for 900 Aussie dollars. Yes, I was crazy enough to do that. We collected our merch and now we're gonna have breakfast at Higher Ground. Is it called Higher Ground? Yes. <laughs> Higher Ground Cafe was recommended by our friend. She said it's very nice, so we're gonna go check it out. This is really cheap, huh? This is huge. 
just take note that all the shops close at 6 p.m. So if you guys want to spend like an entire day here, come early. It's endless. Unfortunately, we didn't have much time to shop at DFO because we came at like 5 p.m. plus. So now we're gonna grab some dinner. We gotta go and fetch our car at MCG first, which we paid a $10 flat rate to park there the entire day today. Nice <laughs> mm. The savory cheese very short. It's like cheesecake. Mm. Yeah, nice. I think the mochi is a brilliant idea. But the ice cream itself is very, very good ice cream. It's, the flavor is super strong. You have to add the brown sugar syrup. It tastes super good with the ice cream. Like, it goes very well together. The only thing about the mochi, right? Although it adds a lot of dimension, which I like, that's a little bit hard to eat. So you have to bite it off. Okay, it's very worth the hype. We're gonna find dinner now. And we're going to this like, very popular Italian restaurant that we drove past just now because I saw it had like a crazy crazy long queue and I told my husband that like we had to eat there. And then we went to check the reviews. They have like 4,000 over Google reviews at 4.4 stars. Thank you. The portion is huge for the price paid. But I would say in terms of like authentic Italian Food, right? This is really not authentic Italian food. It's decent. I wouldn't say it's like amazing and really not worth the hype. But you know, it's huge huh, for the price paid. Someone joined your video. You know. <laughs> It is 7 a.m. in Melbourne now and it's freaking 13 degrees Celsius. We really underpacked for this trip because we thought that February is still summer in Australia, right? But it's so cold now. Okay, but I'm not complaining because I'd rather it to be this weather than scorching hot. We're gonna have breakfast now at noon. I heard that they have the best almond croissants in the world, so let's go and find out. We are back at the Apple again because yesterday we only had like an hour to shop. We are back here before the Taylor Swift concert tonight to do some quick shopping. Let's see what we can get. He's taking forever, it's not here. Who says that girls shop more than guys? We're gonna try some oysters. I'm gonna try the prawn mix. Oh, this is the lemon, but it's quite nice. Like fresh. Okay, we just took a nap and we're preparing to go for the Eras tour now. These shiny things on my eyes were so difficult to put on. Like, I took 45 minutes to do it because it's my first time. Uh, if you guys have the time, right, make sure you practice before the day of the tour. If not, you may be late for it if you don't finish it in time. So what I did was to put eyelash glue and then I stuck it on. Uh, hopefully, it can last throughout the concert. But I think if later I perspire or anything, right, it's, it's just all gonna drop out. But it looks so good now. Like, I love it. I'm not the best at makeup, but I'm really proud of myself. Find over the fact that there are 96,000 people here tonight. I 
have lost my voice. <laughs> I will now running for the tram to go back. The performance is really amazing. It's definitely worth the money. The only thing that I regret was not buying the VIP package one ticket so that we can sit further in front. <laughs> Morning. It is um what is it? It's day four in Melbourne right now. I am having serious post concert blues. Taylor Swift is such a phenomenal human being. Now we're gonna go grocery shopping. A uh, quick run because we are driving along the Great Ocean Road today, and I heard that it is not about getting to the Twelve Apostles. It's about the drive. How does it feel to be the designated driver? I'm the designated racer. Okay, let's see what I can find at Australia's supermarket. I'm gonna get a box of this. Their Chobani is so much cheaper here than Singapore. I think Singapore, one big tub of this is $10. Here yeah, it's $6.80. Okay, we're gonna get one of these. Mm, hey, mine's a lot nicer than yours. Can you try? He bought this one because he had two more grams of protein but it tastes like shit. It tastes very healthy. Compared to this, this tastes a little bit less healthy but it still has like 10 grams of protein. It tastes great. It tastes like shit. <laughs> this cookie is pretty good. It's a soft cookie. There's chocolate. After two hours of driving, we made it to the Great Ocean Road. It's quite spectacular. I don't remember how it looked like because the last time I came here was many many years ago. by this Korean place for dinner tonight because it's near our place and the reviews are pretty good. The food is really very nice so it's run by Koreans. It's authentic as well. I got like beef stew. Jerome got kimchi stew. I think it's really like quite a, a local local gem if you guys are coming to Melbourne and looking for some Asian food. This place is really quite nice. You guys are planning to go to Great Ocean Road. Please leave early in the morning. Today we woke up really late because we attended a concert yesterday and we only had enough time to drive about half of the Great Ocean Road so we didn't make it to the 12 Apostles. The drive is really very long for Melbourne so plan accordingly. Goodbye Melbourne. But now we find fun.